Okay, here's something just in time for your winter fun or winter work, however you view it. You guys may have another know of another discovery with a plow, but we sure don't. So this was a pretty unique piece as far as we're concerned. Little discovery too. Lots of mods. Obviously western seven and a half foot snow plow. Suspension lift. Worn winch. ARB. On top of that, it's just an awful nice clean little truck. This was our personal truck here at European Motors in Cedar Rapids. Kind of a fun project, labor of love type thing, something I always wanted to do. I call it a poor man's defender. And I think you'd agree you can get a whole lot of off-road fun with something like this for about half the price you'd pay for a defender. And you wouldn't even get a snowplow with a Defender, probably. Snowplow works flawlessly. It's all hydraulic. Very heavy duty plow, actually. Seven and a half foot Western Unimount. Custom made to fit this vehicle. Custom push bar with the D-rings. Fog lights work. Those are factory fog lights. Drilled to fit the bumper. Bumper's been line x Nice heavy duty coating on it. Underneath the hood we go. There's no yuck. It doesn't smell like coolant. If you could smell it. There's no coolant leaking, no oil leaking. All within the last 5,000 miles the head gaskets have been done. Valve cover gaskets. All the tune up items have been attended to within the last 5,000 miles. Very, very nice and clean. Rear main seal just completed last year. I can't stand oil leaks and I can't stand it when things don't function the way they should. So this vehicle has been very, very, very well maintained. Old man emu heavy duty springs and shocks, which you would you absolutely need with the plow. Virtually new uh, Dunlop Radial Rovers, which is actually a pretty nice tire for a combination of off-road and slick city streets. You got sipes in there, unlike a lot of traditional off-road tires. This is very nice on an icy street as well. You got a few little stone chips here and there. You're going to have a few little scratches. We used it and had fun with it, but we didn't abuse it and not take care of it. This left front fender has been painted at some point in its life before we got it. And we've got a little clear coat delamination. Just kind of really the biggest flaw if you could even call it that in this vehicle. Interior is very, very nice. Carpet is very, very clean under the Land Rover mats. Routinely Lexol, it's got the nice contrasting piping. Very, very good looking interior. Back seat is the same. Very, very clean. We'll walk around the other side. Everything functions as it should in here. Climate control works well, the air conditioning is cold, the heated seats are warm, radio works well, it sounds good. There are absolutely no check engine lights on of any kind. The little trailer light flashes because uh, of the plow with the hazards on, but no ABS lights, no nothing. Sunroofs work well, the dual roofs work great. Notice the, the headliner is a little saggy in spots, but not enough at this time that I deemed it of any importance. But eventually somebody's probably gonna wanna put a different headliner in it. Typical with one of these. 
Uh, it's got the uh, Warren handheld controller, which is fairly expensive. Left and right, up and down, all that good stuff. You can hold it right in your hand while you're operating the shifter. It's got the uh, 04 transfer case lock. Just try and find that knob. <laughs> I mean, that was that was a chore in itself. It took me about a month to find that knob, believe it or not. And it works great. All the heated seats, windows, everything works. There's a little bit of wear on the handbrake boot. It's got the uh, cup holders, the accessory cup holders, which are nice. Dash is, you know, very, very nice. Like I say, not a perfect truck by any stretch, but very, very limited wear. Steering wheel, nice. Uh, it's got the uh, ARB air lockers that we mounted up here. We didn't drill any holes or anything, just they slipped in there pretty nice, so we left them. Looks pretty clean and factory. And the nice thing is, nobody really knows they're there, so you don't have passengers accidentally hitting them and so forth. Let's go back outside. We've got uh, recovery lights on the back that light up with an independent switch or as you pop it in reverse they light up automatically they can also you can just hit it when the vehicle's off I've been out in the woods before with it and the vehicle's off camping or whatnot and you want a little light you just hit that switch we'll go back underneath here show you that it's very very clean there is going to be some service rust it was driven in the snow there's the air compressor for the ARB air locker in the back. All the differentials were routinely serviced. The transmission was routinely serviced. I think we serviced the transmission twice since we've had it, which in the last 5,000 miles or so. It's got a worn winch with a uh, custom uh, receiver. You can just remove the entire winch and it's got a quick release wire hookup. Also has an extended hitch so you can actually tow something while it's attached. But basically there's a lock pin back there. It's locking so nobody steals your winch. And you and a buddy, and trust me you're going to need a buddy because it is heavy, just remove it if you don't want it and the whole assembly comes off. The winch works good. It's got all the uh, Land Rover accessory taillight protector grids or whatever you call them. Interior's real clean. We added the seven passenger step so we can get at our gear, our recovery gear and whatnot that we keep in the side pods. It's got the Land Rover mat. The carpet is flawless underneath cargo shade is still there there's another shot of the headliner you can kind of see it's got a little sagginess to it but not a real big deal matching uh, spare there again new tire on the back Lots of custom toys. I mean, if you guys know anything about this, you know what an ARB air locker is just to buy it, then then put it in. You know, route the compressor, the suspension lift, the two inch old man emu, the plow, what it's worth, and then imagine putting it on, wiring everything to mate with a Land Rover. Everything works as intended. Then on top of that, all the, all the maintenance, no check engine lights, no leaks, very very nice truck not perfect but probably one of the nicest one nicest discoveries you've seen lately do not hes hesitate to contact us uh, europeanmotorsltd.com you can get some more details about this vehicle or any others we have in stock our phone number is 319-393-8496 my name's Pete do not hesitate to ask for me it was my vehicle 
my idea, my brainchild, my toy, and I had a lot of fun with it, but it's time for one of you other guys to enjoy it. Just in time for the snow season. Whole lot of fun to pull Toyota 4Runners out of the ditch with it, trust me. Again, 319-393-8496. Have a good one, guys.